Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Paul Karens and today we'll be discussing how to reduce haze in landscape photographs. This particular image is of Mears Island, which I photographed from Vancouver Island on Radar Hill. Um, I'm To the camera left, which you don't see in this image, is the ocean. And I'm in a rainforest and there's lots of blue sky. So with all these elements, there's going to be haze and lots of haze. Um, maybe in a drier climate, like in a desert climate, you don't have this problem as much, but in this area of the world, uh, you're going to see a lot of haze in your images. And there's ways you can reduce this. Uh, one way is to use filters in your cameras, like a UV filter, uh, which will cut the haze down. But uh, there's still going to be haze no matter what. Uh, another way is to use Photoshop and uh, to use selective color filters. Uh, and that's how I do it. Uh, there's other methods that I've seen in, in tutorials um, using uh, channels. Uh, some people use sharpening filters. There's lots of different ways, but uh, this way I find to be the most dramatic and also the most natural. Uh, I just kind of fell into it one day while I was playing around with selective colors on one of my landscapes and I noticed that I was able to reduce the haze in a very nice way. So I'll give you an idea how this is going to look. I'm just going to toggle this uh, layer off and on and you can see that it's uh, quite dramatic but still very natural. So let's start a new layer and try uh, from scratch. So make sure you have adjustments selected and then you go down to selective color. From there you want to go down to the Dropbox. Now on the Dropbox we're going to be using all three of these, the whites, the neutrals, and the blacks. So we'll start off with the whites. Now in every case we're going to be adding yellow or in which is basically removing blue. So this one I'm going to go to 10% and I'm going to go up to the Dropbox and go down to blacks. Blacks I'm going to add 50% yellow so just 5-0 and now I'm going to go to neutrals. Now neutrals is going to have the most dramatic overall effect so you want to be the most careful with this and I'll be adding yellow very, very carefully. Now you can see it's already affecting the image quite a bit. I'm only at around 8 or 9, 10% here. And if I dial it up, you can really see that it just, just changes it completely. So don't go overboard with it, but look at the areas you want to change, not the areas that are being changed that you don't want. Make sure you're like, you know, checking out the areas that you want to see the actual change to. So I'm going to leave it at 4, and I'm going to toggle off the, on the image, and you can see how dramatic it is. Now, of course, the sky has gotten much more yellow, and it's not very pleasant. It's almost too warm. So we're going to paint out the areas of the filter we don't want by selecting the mask on the selective color layer, um, making sure your paintbrush is selected, that the black and the black and the palette is selected, and that your opacity and flow is where you want it right click on the image and select the hardness you want as well. I'm going to go with 50% in this case. Um, because I'm doing this very quickly, uh, it's a video tutorial, it's just, just to demonstrate how it's going to, how I want it to look. If I was going to do this for any other reason, I would spend a lot more time on this. Um, you want to be careful of minor details too, like the here, down here, there's a thin strip of blue. It's actually uh, separating the islands. It's the waterway and I'm just gonna reduce the yellow here and this body of water here and here. And now I'm going to reduce the opacity overall to maybe 50%. Increase my brush size. It's right bracket to increase brush size, left to reduce the size and I'm going to just go over the area below the mountains just to make that a little bit less yellow. So basically most of the filter is affecting the mountains and nothing else. I'm going to toggle it off and on and you can see the results are quite effective and definitely more punchy. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and that you've come and visit me on my blog. It's uh, on my website, paulcarens.com forward slash blog. The name of the blog is Through the Photographer's Eye. There you'll find many other tutorials, both written and uh, video tutorials as well. Uh, come and check that out, and thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.